Hi, I'm Jean, a researcher at The Expert. In today's video, we'll be talking about bad breath. No, not that kind of bad breath, but B-R-E-A-D-T-H, that kind of breath. Last week, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ closed record highs, mainly driven by the stocks in the trillion dollar club, Apple, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Though it's good news, let's take a step back and look beneath the surface by comparing the OG S&P 500 and its equal weighted sibling. As big tech stocks pushed higher last week, the remaining stocks lagged, pulling the distance between advancers and decliners even further apart. This can be seen as a rough gauge of market breadth. If you're not familiar with the term market breadth, it's basically looking at how many stocks are participating in a given move in an index or on a stock exchange. An index may be rising, yet more than half of the stocks in the index are falling. Because a small number of stocks have such large gains that they drag the whole index higher. And that's exactly what's happening now. These advancers we're talking about include Apple, due to its AI initiatives announced at the WWDC conference, Nvidia following the 10 for 1 stock split, and Microsoft. That's also incorporate relative strength into the picture. According to Jonathan Krinsky, a chief market technician at BTIG, he observed that the S&P 500's RSI closed above 70, while the S&P Equal Weight Index RSI fell below 50 for the first time since 1990, which repeated again the following day. He noted that this divergence is significant, as an RSI above 70 indicates an overbought condition, and below 50 indicates an oversold condition highlighting the growing polarization in the U.S. market. Additionally, the percentage of S&P 500 members trading above their 50-day moving average has fallen below 50%, even though the index itself remains over 4% above its intermediate-term average. This situation hasn't occurred since December 1999, just months before the tech bubble burst. Now, this isn't something new. Investors have been talking about this bad breath since the beginning of the AI hype from last year. Even analysts are highlighting how the S&P 500 no longer reflects the overall performance of the stock market. Apart from relative strength, which we have just mentioned, we can also further assess the US stock market's bad breath with the advanced decline line and new high, new low indicator. Here we can see a bearish divergence. As the index is moving up, but the AD line is sloping downwards. We can view the AD line as market sentiment, as it tells us whether more stocks are falling or rising. On the other hand, the S&P 500 also finished last week with more member stocks hitting new 52-week lows than new 52-week highs. The new high new lows indicator displays the daily difference between the number of stocks reaching new 52 highs and the number of stocks reaching new 52 lows. Market breadth is an excellent indicator derived from price and volume for confirmation and divergences. And as we discussed so far, it's showing divergence, especially the technology sector compared to the other sectors. Breadth has deteriorated recently, a sign of the increasingly outsized influence exerted by a handful of mega cap stocks. However, if this trend persists for an extended period and smaller stocks don't start to catch up, it could become a growing concern. Additionally, keep an eye on rate cuts, as they could boost underperforming stocks and help reduce the current market breadth divergence. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this week's video, subscribe, like, and share it. See you in the next one!